Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 through 4, and the Word of God reads this way. Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made a molded calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. In this chapter of Exodus, we have a very, very grieving account. And whenever we read it as Christians, we can almost look and go, what was wrong with these people? But we want to understand something. The sinful nature of man will come out even in the midst of something good that's happening and something that is good from God. Notice in verse 1 it says, When the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, they went to Aaron and they said, Come make us gods that shall go before us, for as for this Moses. And they said, The man who brought us out of the land of Egypt. So they're acknowledging it was Moses that led them out. It says, We do not know what has become of him. So they, they became impatient. They were waiting for Moses, and they didn't know what happened to him. So instantly they're like, You know what? We need to have a god or gods to go before us. So we're going to go to Aaron and tell him that. Unfortunately, in verse 2, Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, sons, and daughters, and bring them to me. So Aaron hearkened to the people. The people probably came to him. He probably felt pressured. And he's like, okay, I don't know where Moses is at either. So break off your golden earrings and give it to me. Because Aaron knew he had the ability to do what he's going to do in verse 3. So it says, so all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. Aaron took it, and in verse 4 it says, and he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a molded calf. Now, this molded calf was literally a golden calf. And that wasn't unusual for people to make a false god or a statue or image from a golden calf. And that's exactly what Aaron did. So he took their gold, made them, made them a golden calf, and then in the end of verse 4, then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now notice in verse 1, they said it was Aaron that, I mean, it was Moses that led them out. They knew that Moses was their leader. But they also knew that Moses had to have someone to get them out. And it wasn't his ability, it was from God. But they were replacing the true and living God with what? A molded calf, a golden calf. And they said, this is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Dear Christian, I want you to think about something when they said that. When there were plagues and God did that, now they're saying this golden calf did it. When God separated the Red Sea. They're saying this golden calf get, did it. For any signs or wonders or anything that God did to get them out of Egypt, leading Moses to lead them, they are ascribing it to this golden calf. A golden calf that Aaron actually made. This is how insane it is when you get impatient with God and your sin nature kicks in, you replace God with your own God, a God made with your own hands, and then you're going to ascribe every supernatural, powerful act that the true and living God did to that thing you made. This is how crazy you will get when you let your sin nature kick in. When you don't want to wait on God and embrace His good commandments, and remember something, He's bringing them out of bondage to bring them into their own land, and yet, because they're impatient and they want things their own way, they would r rather replace the true and living God with a golden calf, with, a, with an idol, with an image, 
This is what they're doing. Christian, don't ever have this attitude. Even today, as believers in Jesus Christ, we can get impatient with God. And you know what we can do? We can ascribe everyday providential things that God has done to another God. We have our own golden calves. Instead of God's providence, we have what? Luck, chance, or fate. Instead of the living God that saved us through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know what we have? We have our own gods we make up. Whether it's our job, our car, our clothes, another person. And we ascribe every good thing to those things instead of the true and living God. So we're no better than the nation of Israel here. They did something that was totally wicked. And remember something. They saw the supernatural acts of God. They saw it right in their eyes. They're like, they see it. And yet, as soon as they get impatient and as soon as their sin nature kicks in, they forget all of that. And you know what? They want to make a God of their own making, of their own way of thinking or believing. In fact, they just violated the first three of the Ten Commandments. They are having another God before the true and living God, and they're not even thinking about the consequences of it. And shame on Aaron for falling for that and actually making the God for them. And if you keep reading in this chapter, the outcome wasn't very good. So, this is Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 through 4. I just wanted to do a quick look to truly remind you, Christian, don't ever, ever, ever replace God with your own God. We don't need a replacement God. We've been saved by the true and living God. Let's give Him praise, honor, and worship, and let's wait on Him and stop being impatient. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so. But please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, when we read the account in Exodus, we see so many silly things that the nation of Israel did. Even though God showed himself faithful and powerful right in front of them. Today, God is doing the same thing to us as believers. And you know what? We can be just as sinful and silly and, Ill and illogical as the nation of Israel. Let this be an example to us when we read that for us not to be that way. Never replace God with a fake God because we have a relationship with the true and living God. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and God bless.